The first instalment in a billion dollar makeover has been announced for one of Sydney's largest hospitals. The overhaul of Westmead Hospital is set to be kick-started with about $5 million set aside for planning in Tuesday's state budget. But as Joanna Woodburn reports, the opposition and doctors groups say the funding is just a token gesture. After 40 years, Westmead is starting to show its age. Now the government is earmarking funding to finish planning the hospital's redevelopment. To build one of the biggest hospitals, uh, if not in Australia, but also the Southern Hemisphere. The first stage will cost $400 million. It will include an emergency department, operating theatres and beds. They deserve, and the public deserve, a hospital that can provide care in the future. For patients like Brian Shaw, it's a long-awaited boost for Western Sydney. We have to start getting better facilities out here. And the facilities out here are what we really are not up to the standard that we require. The number of patients presenting here at Westmead's emergency department has more than doubled in the past 20 years. Doctors say this upgrade isn't necessarily about increasing capacity, but rather providing more targeted treatment that will reduce the number of hospital admissions and free up more beds. It's a brilliant opportunity to design uh, a cutting-edge emergency department, which is co-located with um, theatres, radiology and HCU and ICU. But the funding allocated so far is a fraction of the final bill. It will be announced as we go forward. The planning has been done. It's time to get on and build it. What we've got today is just delaying tactics. Doctors groups fear the government is repeating past mistakes. The worst thing we could do is fund it in little fits and starts. We've actually been down that path before, uh, about 10 years ago with a Westmead redevelopment project uh, that uh, never really uh, delivered the results that we needed. The work is due to start next year. Joanna Woodburn, ABC News, Westmead.